Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to TerraTech Episode 2. Uh, I haven't done much since the last episode. I've just found a few more of the big wheels, sold some items, bought a couple more. So now we have all but three of our little wheels replaced with big ones. Uh, I mean, I guess we technically do have these little guys back here, uh, just for extra support, I guess. I don't really know what they do once our craft gets to this big. I just know that they're useful when the vehicle's small to keep it from tipping back and stuff when you accelerate. Uh, yeah, but other than that, our... Uh, setup's looking pretty good. Uh, I'll show what these little... I think I talked about these holders a little bit in the last episode. I don't really remember, though. But we'll... Do I get some resources from these rocks? Yeah. Give me all that. And we can sell this. We are actually going to hold on to it for the time being, though. Because I think... Let's see, where is... Crafty Business? We're going to make that our current mission. Because we'll actually be able to refine those uh, blocks into something that's more valuable and sell it for a lot more money. I also found a slightly better drill than our other one, so we can take down trees that much quicker. Come on, get in my in my little things. There we go. All right, let's head over to the, uh, the question mark over here. There's an enemy over there trying to shoot at us, but he looks like he's kind of kind of stuck. I'm not really sure, but <laughs> give him a taste of our our broadsides. Yeah, boy. Oh, he has some big wheels too. Nice. So, it looks like two more. Let's go ahead and throw one there. And then one more right... Yeah. Oh, that was the wrong spot. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, shoot me, please. <laughs> A little drill. He can't actually hit us, so we're okay for now. Uh, there's a little plow thing there, which is useless to us. No other... things that are really, we can really use, though. Catch these side broadsides. Ooh, more big wheels. Okay. I didn't realize. Give me that. Okay, now we're all decked out in big wheels. Sweet. There's, it looks like there's another small enemy over there. Can we hit him? Yeah, actually we can. He's almost a goner. There you go. <laughs> Alright. I just want to get to sort of a, a flatter area. So I can actually start building something. I don't have to go all these over these awkward mountains. Also, I was watching a video and apparently the resources, the natural resources do respawn, but I'm not sure how long it takes. Okay. What's up, kiddo? Crafty Mike's the name. And today's your lucky day. I thought he was going to say, and crafting's my game or something like that. My base came under attack. Did you get to help with the repair work? Oh, dude, yes. That's what I always wanted. What is this? I just want to get my uh, batteries recharged. Be a pal and attach those conveyors to the, uh, back onto the delivery cannon for me. Okay. And pop those on where he tells us to. I would have done it myself, you see. But I can't move as freely as I used to these days. Pop the receiver on the end of the conveyor belt line, too, would you, kiddo? Sure. We just look ridiculous with all this stuff hanging off of our face. I don't want to get too close to it, because I don't want it to actually take the items off of our vehicle just yet. Excellent! Imagine all the block bucks I'll be earned from selling resource chunks now. Mind your head! Bloop! Alright, so when resources are near this little intake, they'll get thrown onto it and then put on the nearest uh, conveyor belt. And then whatever is attached to the conveyor belt determines what actually happens. There's a way to make even more cash. I'll let you in on a little secret. Such a delivery incoming. Mind your head. And then he'll drop a little furnace here for us. Or a smelter, whatever it's called. Refinery. There we go. 
We're actually going to modify this setup slightly. Well, we're going to do what he tells us to, but... The refinery will turn basic resources into something shinier. And more expensive. Take a look. So these items that are worth were worth 18 before will now be worth uh, 27, so it increases their value by 50%. I'm not sure if, if it's a 50% price increase for all things, but uh, for these at least it is. Maybe I'll let you look after my base for the time being. Meanwhile, I've got some uh, errands to run. Later, kiddo. Mission complete. Right, we're just going to modify this setup slightly because with the way this is right now, if you send too many items down the, the line, It'll go through here, and some will go up into the refinery, and then they'll get stuck here as other ones are continuing to go down the line. And so you'll end up selling unrefined resources. But it's an easy fix. We just do like this, basically. And that way, items are forced to go in the green area before going out into the red. Or out through the red, rather. We'll just go here. And then everything slowly get devoured. <laughs> This would give us a fair amount of money. About 30 each, so not amazing, but certainly better than the zero income we've been at. And basically, any rock that has sort of glowing things in it, or the crystals you see lying around, will give you some pretty valuable resources. I prefer just selling them, but you can actually uh, sort of hold on to them and uh, craft them into other items later, and it's technically a better value, but that requires more work, and I'm all about being lazy here. <laughs> Come on. Scoop all the things up. Thank you. I just, just want to harvest all these rocks. Well, not all of them, but the ones that have the resources inside. And drills normally automatically activate when you get near uh, mineable object. Although since I have two different size drills, it seems like they have a bit of a problem sometimes. Uh oh, we're kind of stuck here. I'm just there we go. So sometimes I have to activate it manually, and then when you'll see when you see the rock shaking, then you know that it's working. Okay, it looks like we're actually full up here, so we're gonna go back and sell these items, and then we'll pick up the rest. I don't have to worry too much about them despawning. I don't know what the despawn timer is, but it's pretty long. <laughs> I see like those green ones sell for 53 each. I think the yellow ones sell for like 70. Oh, what? There's, there's another resource that sells for like 70 that's relatively common. I don't remember what it is though. Just two more to go. And you don't have to stay near this, it'll operate without you being there, so we can just run back and scoop up all these resources. Each of the little containers can hold five resources, so... We can budget out about 25 units. Give me all these blues. Titanite, apparently, is what it's called. All right, well, I'm gonna keep doing this for a little bit, build up some money, so I'll cut to the end of that. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I've spent the last 10 minutes or so just gathering up resources and selling them. Uh, I've gone ahead and moved that sort of setup we had before closer to this trading station, just so it's a bit easier, us, easier for us to buy and sell as we need. Plus this is a bit closer to the next quest objective anyways, which is defeating the big burner which is going to be uh, a different faction that we haven't yet seen. Well, besides in the uh, title screen, I guess. And we'll be able to make uh, a vehicle out of those pieces. Uh, it's actually just over this crest here, it looks like. Yep, there he is. Yeah, we have the upper ground, so this is actually good for us. Oh, yes, this is very good, actually. <laughs> I could not have asked for like a more perfect uh, encounter. Oh, it looks like we're just out of range now. Alright, let's sort of scoot down the hill a little bit. 
There we go, now this cab's flashing bright, so it's gonna pop in just a second. And there it goes. Congratulations, GeoCorp has upgraded your license to Grade 1. Hey, you blew up one of our vehicles. Good job. The following blocks can now be purchased at the trading station, or crafted with the GeoCorp Fabricator. There are other new blocks out there to discover, too. Alright. So now we can make bigger craft much easier, because we get these big old blocks and new big wheels and stuff, and... Good, good times. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is scoot my butt back to the... Uh, the trading station, buy the new cab, and then start building from there. Just gotta zoom back over. <laughs> Fortunately, this craft is actually pretty nimble with all of its little wheels. Okay, excuse me, Mr. Trading Station. Uh, start by Geocorp. And the cab, please. Only $570, not too bad. Purchase, thank you. And we're just gonna attach it to our vehicle for now. It's fine. <laughs> it can just be stuck on there all weirdly. Just because I don't want to traverse the hills in it. And should we get ambushed by some enemies, I want to have something I can defend ourselves with. Because it actually looks like a couple enemies have spawned uh, on the hill here. Fortunately, they're just little guys, so. Wouldn't be too much trouble to take out. Or they'll take out each other, I guess. Oh, did the items despawn? Didn't this, isn't this where we just came from? Oh, that sucks. I could have sworn that the, uh... The spawn timer was a lot longer than that. But maybe it's just because it was, like, from a quest NPC or something. I don't know. That is really unfortunate, because that was thousands of... block bucks worth sitting down there. Dang it. That means I'm going to have to harvest some more. And then build this craft from scratch. That really sucks. Let me make sure it wasn't over here. Or something. Nope. Looks like we are SOL. Dang. But, yeah, I, I was not expecting the, the blocks to despawn that quickly. Oh well. I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> Alright, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I've been gathering resources for the past, like, hour almost, probably. <laughs> I've doubled up on my um, factory units just so I can sell things twice as quickly. Uh, I've done a couple missions off-screen. Nothing, it, it was basically accidental. Nothing important. Uh, basically just headbutting some trees and some rocks and selling some materials. <laughs> it, it really was nothing that we haven't already shown on camera. But it did unlock a couple new parts for us, so we've been taking advantage of them. We got these nice big drills on the front. We got these new collectors on the back. They hold a ton of resources. They take up two, but they take up four times as many slots as the regular holders, but they hold uh, eight times as many items. That's pretty dope. All right. Uh, I'm gonna take what little money I do have buy a few more of these protective plates, and then move on. Actually, let's charge up our batteries, too. I've kept a very similar theme with our previous build. I basically have just one line down the middle that has all of our sort of core parts on it, and then all the big blocks around it to uh, protect it. Our cab is right here. Uh, that's why we have... and it, it, it's, it's only one wide instead of like a a cube 2x2x2. Two by two by two. It's 1x2x2. Two by two by two. So on the other side we just have an awkward little gray patch of the smaller blocks to make up for that so the block can stay even sized. Oops. Put that down please. Thank you. Alright. Now I think we are ready to capture an enemy base. Or we should be able to get more of these kinds of parts. This craft is a little bit slower than our previous one, however, with the way I designed it, we can't really add any more wheels to it. So we'll just have to sort of deal with it for now, but it does do a good job at climbing hills. It's pretty wide, but it's short, so it can go up hills easily. And we'll gather some resources on our way. That's kind of a big bot over there. 
Oh, he has the, the shorter range guns, so we can actually outrange him. Although even if we do get hit, it doesn't really matter because of our repair bubble. Do you have any regular guns? Yes, he did. These sort of straight shooters. Throw those on the bottom there. We can still fire forward. Anything else? No. I don't really know what to put on the middle here. Maybe some more batteries or something, I'm not sure. Right now we just sort of have a gap in the middle front of our craft. Doesn't really do anything. Alright, are they just over this hill? I'm not too worried about gathering every little piece. I also said I was going to buy more of those plates, and then I ended up not buying more of those plates. Oh, well, if I remember to, we'll get them when I uh, go back. Yeah, but these bigger drills make very quick work of rocks. <laughs> it's nice. Alright, so that's the base there, which we don't want to blow up. It's marked as, as an enemy, but in reality it's not. There's a little cab right there, and he's gone. I'm trying to mine resources or something. And another small enemy. Nope, stop trying to target the base. You actually can blow up the base and it makes you fail the mission, so you have to try again. There we go. Base guardians are down, congratulations, base is yours! You can keep it here or take the blocks with you. What is this? That's a... Um... This is a, a factory, I think. We can actually use it to produce... Oops. To produce things. I don't know if we're actually going to use it or not. What is this? A rotating anchor? How does it rotate? Huh. Weird. I guess we'll take it, though. Oh, yeah, here's another factory with a whole bunch of refineries floating around it. Uh, oops, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do, but actually, you know, I guess, I guess we'll take it. That's kind of pointless to have all this around it, because it can only take in one block at a time. So even if it has four blocks ready to be taken in, it'll only suck in one of them. I'll let it finish doing that, and then I'll grab it. these are fairly expensive, they're like 1.8k or something. Which isn't a lot in like the long run, but for us right now it is. We'll take that in one of the refineries and just keep doubling up our production back home. And just throw that on there. One of these. Perfect. <laughs> Alright. Approach the crate. That's over there. Let's uh, save that for next episode. For now, I want to go back to base and set this up, and I'll sort of show how I have my uh, my production area set up because I don't know if I went over it or not already. Yeah, I have no idea how long this episode's gonna be after editing, because it's I've been playing for about an hour and a half now. Recording's coming up on an hour and a half. But of course, a big chunk of that's going to be just me grinding off screen for materials and money. Oh, hello there. My first tech. Ah, you're dead. <laughs> Get out. Nope, <laughs> we caught one of the blocks. Get out of here. Oh, are these not actually in range of being repaired? Okay, let's try... I just want to make sure that that doesn't stop these blocks back here from getting repaired. And granted, the front ones are the ones we're more worried about anyways, because that's where we're going to be attacking from. So the, facing our enemy the most. But I do, I do want to have my entire craft covered by one repair bubble if possible. Whee! Down we go. I'm going to set these down briefly, and then I'll buy some more of those uh, conveyor belt parts. Alright. That should stay there. Let's back this up. Alright. 
And yeah, I I do know for sure that items or resources do respawn. It seems kind of random and it does take a while, but it does happen. So you don't have to worry about completely drying out a whole area. Um, manufacturing blocks. Conveyors, we need four. Well, I mean, we don't need four, but just for the sort of design I'm going for where you need four. Could do it with... Well, actually, no, you do need two to actually start a belt. Can't have just one facing a direction. Yeah, so we will continue going uh, back, as those are. Although, it's going to be slightly... Oh, jeez. <laughs> going to be slightly out of the shield coverage, but that's fine. Unless... No, let's actually get some more. Let's buy another uh, solar panel and stuff. May as well. Assuming we have the money for it. I don't remember how much they cost. Let's see. Is it power blocks? Ooh, 2,000. Jeez. And the sh bubbles are... 400? Okay, we can... We can deal with that, I guess. That's fine. Pop that on here. These. And then as many batteries as we can get. We would like four, ideally, just to... Think. Oh, we can actually get four. Okay, cool. Of course, there was an easier way to, uh... Do that. Where's... Oh, it was stuck underneath us. Can't escape me. <laughs> okay. Okay, so for this, let's move these back. I'm going to add the solar generator right here on the back of the conveyor belt. Put the shield right next to it so they're connected. And Getting these set up is a little bit tricky, because sometimes they'll go the direction you want. In this case, they did. Excellent. Come on, please point down. Alright, so it looks like we're good. And we just place this in there. These are... The arrows are pointing the right way. I've had it... Or I've seen it where sometimes the arrows won't light up where the conveyor belts are, so it just won't intake items, and it's really annoying. But yeah, that's basically it. And then we just fill up the rest of the batteries. Alright, those are... Oh, no, I was going to just throw this down somewhere random. Oh, I need another one of the um, acceptors as well. Oh, well, the acceptor just gets thrown on right there. And that way we can just drive by with a bunch of stuff on our back and have it be taken out very quickly. Oh, we don't have any money. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's going to do it for the episode today, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, as always. And with all that being said, take care, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.